Hello everyone, good evening. Is Aisha Rontal, the soul alchemist, welcoming you to the live of Thursday night. Hey Carola, who else is here and who's not? Hello, hello. Hope you are all well. Nice to see you. Hey Robin. Hey Amanda. Woof, woof, woof. How are we? Here we go. Burning a little bit of sage. Hi Nikki. You did make it. Well done, Amanda. So good evening. How are we all? Messages are going a little bit um, in different ways. So I hope you are well. Just lighting here some more candles. How are you, Nikki? How are you, Robin? Robin, is your sister back? Hi, Kylie. Good Kaval. <laughs> Yes, we are back from the wilderness of Uluru. Who is here from the Uluru crew? Is that you, Vanessa? Who else is here? So, so for those of you who are new, I'm talking to two phones at once, so it looks as if I'm looking. I am looking. Vicky, you missed on coming to Uluru. <laughs> Hi, how are we all? I will just say a few hellos and everything. So nice to see you all. I hope you are well. I guess it's a bit chilly in um, in Melbourne, but it's a good weather overall. My hair is crazy. Have you seen our photos? How crazy were they? So I'm just happy to say that we came back from Uluru. So after all this amazing buildup, we went there and I'm going to change the name of the group to the 1% group of the people who actually saw and been in that crazy rain and the waterfalls and it's raining there still and going like mad. Someone texted me, did you start it? <laughs> well, it started when we were there. Um, the camels, the first night was pretty good. No, it was all right. So yes, however, what does it mean where we are at? There were few little incidents in the world you know and one of the important thing is the elementals the elementals are those forces of let's see if this is a little bit more central yeah the elemental hi meravi and um, the elementals are the forces of nature and what's been happening there's been a collapse of a, of a bridge in Baltimore. there's been a huge fire in uh, Texas, there has been a hi Avile. There has been um, hailing in China, but heavy hail, and there has been a volcano eruption in Iceland. Now these are the elementals. These are the forces of nature, and this is where we need to look at what's happening. Why is it happening? What is going on and how are we going to deal with it? Hey, Peter. Um, and what is happening for all of it is that we really have to pay attention when Mother Nature is a little bit not so happy. And for us being in Uluru while we had those big rains, for us it was still a blessing rain. Now it's beginning to flood. So it's a little bit strong and it is a message. And all the locals were telling us how much it actually never rains there. And it might rain for 40 or 60 days in the year. And when we were there, it was like, boom, energy temperature was supposed to be more. For us, it was still blessing. What does it mean? It means that, first of all, there are resources that are coming up. There are things that are shifting and we need to pay attention. What does it mean to pay attention? We need to hold the vibration of love. When we are upset, when we are unhappy, when we are concentrating on fear rather than on love, 
the whole energy is shifting and going as is. Especially, konnichiwa, Miss Haruka. Especially, shalom, shalom. Especially when we are light workers. If you were, you know the expression, ignorance is bliss, right? Once that we are not ignorant anymore, once that we are connecting through the higher levels of ourselves, or at least wishing to be part of the light family, which I'm sure if you're attracted to see me here, you are part of it. What is happening is that if you are not doing it, if you are not following yourself, if you are not following your gut feeling, if you are not connecting through and following your mission, it is actually worse. Why is that? Because you know the difference. You know the meaning of being in a love space. You know the meaning of being... Um, you can see what love does to your body. What does love do when you are around people? All it is, all you need to do is just to spread the love. And what does it mean, spread the love? Be in the love. How will you do it? By amplifying the energy. Hey, Su Chang, how are you? Um, shall we share what happened today, Su Chang? What do you reckon? So when we are allowing ourselves to remember our powerful connection to the light, we cannot deny it anymore. We can't just pretend, yeah, I'll just walk willy-nilly. Okay, so I got permission here. So even though we only came back like a day ago and yesterday was the day of washing, clearing, this, this, let me tell you a little story because I got permission here. So I got a phone call from one of my clients and she said, listen, my cousin is possessed. When I hear a tale, I'll tell you a tale. My cousin is possessed. I'm like, what? How do you know what's happening? Why is it happening? For almost two years, there is something attached to her. Do you deal with that? Yes, I do. Anyway, I said, build us a WhatsApp group. I've put us all on uh, hygiene. We've put, and Simone and Kelly and Francis, we've done a WhatsApp group video because I can assess it like this. So I've assessed it and I've looked at it. And suddenly, and I'm like, sure, I'll come tomorrow, like today. And suddenly her eyes, and she's Asian, so eyes are a bit like this. Her eyes change and they were like round eyes. And we're here. There's no point for you to come. Because I'm not going anywhere. And I said, who are you? And name starts with a D. I'm like, and who are you? Oh, she's my, what is she for you? She's my wife. No, she's not. She's married with two kids. Anyway, to cut a long story short, there was an attachment of a spirit to the soul. And some people will call it bipolar, schizophrenia. It wasn't the case. And not that I'm a psychiatrist, just to have a disclaimer. I'm not. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I arrived there today and it wouldn't leave the body. He didn't want to leave the body until well, a lot of people try to release it from the body and it just didn't work. So what I have done, I have summoned the archangels, I've asked from God, did my prayers and it tried to fight. The thing is that the lady doesn't believe in God per se like we do, or I do anyway. She believes in Buddha. And that is fine. There's no problem. Believe, believe in someone or something. And she has two kids. So the love of a children or a pet is unconditional love. So I said, just think of the kids. And I've asked from the cousin and the family to speak to her in the origin language that the spirit that is attached doesn't know it. 
Anyway, there was a big fight. Like I'm talking physical fight. Like I'm talking pushing her down because the spirit was trying to rebel and to fight and not to leave the body. It was a full on exercise. Lucky I finished my training and I was already with my gym clothes because that was weight work because I needed to put all my weight on it and to clear it. Thank God, thank God, thank God and all the angels that it left the body. But it wouldn't leave the body. So let me give you one lesson. If you're under the influence, if you're drinking alcohol, if you're taking drugs, and not that that was the case with this lady, not at all. But this is where people open portals to other energies. It was worse than that, Amanda. I'm just being polite here. This is open portal. If you're unhappy in your relationship, if, you're, if there's a little bit of a problem, if there is lack of communication, if you have fear, if you are depressed, if you are anxious, this is what the other side, the dark side, is thriving on. Remember Harry Potter, remember the Dementors. What did they do? They have sucked all the negative they latched themselves into that negative energy and they have cleared. That's how they attach and that's how they pull the energy. This is what happens when it is a little bit different and challenging. So if you are feeling a little bit down, try to lift your spirit. Listen to music. Dance. Go for a walk. Break the loop. Remember how last week we spoke about breaking the loop of the past. Don't let your story take over you. Don't let the story connect you on a higher level than what you need. Allow yourself to connect to love, no matter what it is. Does that make sense? At the end, the spirit had no choice. I don't give them choice. I don't negotiate with terrorists, unlike the government in Israel. Um, and it's left. But it was so strong, it was so strong that the police has arrived. So I've been doing energy clearing for 28 years. Never had any incident, but it was such a struggle that they were like, I was shouting, get out, get out of her body, that the neighbors thought that something was happening and they called the police. However, it is, um, the spirit left the body, the exorcism was completed, it was a little bit exhaustion there. Um, what you're seeing here, it's the poncho that I wore in Uluru when I've done our ceremony of connecting the divine masculine and the feminine and giving prayer to the, to God, basically. So, yes, so that was the case today. That was my lovely day, going and doing exorcism, clearing the spirit, and now they're all okay, cleared the whole house. So if you're feeling that something is wrong with the house, something is not working, something is not fully flowing, let me know and I'll be able to help you and sort this out. So the most important thing is to lift your vibration. So what is happening with the forces of nature? Why is it happening, do you think? Because people are not aware to their energy, to their forces, to their effect that they have over other people. And the very simple way to do it is to connect through love. Those who have been with me in Uluru, like half of the stuff there were Fijian. You could just hear me calling Bula, 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 Bula. Why? That's their hello. That's their shalom. You know, that's their palia. That's their whatever it is. Okay. All you need to do is spread the love. And I can tell you there were a lot of negative forces that were trying to, to stop to stop the retreat from happening, to stop everything. Here, now I can show you. We had a booklet with a lot of beautiful things that I was doing and shifting and trying. 
half of the places were muddy, helicopters couldn't fly, <laughs> Segway couldn't go, but yours truly managed to improvise and to create a different, different vibe, whatever we needed, as we needed. And, you know, it is what it is, right? It's all about the experience. So how are you connected to love? What is your daily ritual? Write to me. What is your daily ritual for self-love, self-care? Because it's all about self-love, self-care. If Carola is still with us, she goes and walks on the beach. Vanessa, you go and walk on the beach. I go walk on the beach. This morning, my daughter stayed and she said to me, Mom, let's go. We walked. I walked and then I did my training and then I connected to my body again, physically lifted more things. So how do we shift it? How do we move it? Yeah, that's it. Dark place, scariest thing, jump to the ocean. Exactly right. So how do you clear negative energy or low vibration? What lifts your vibration? Can you write to me? What lift your vibration? Spend time with family. Sometimes the family is the problem. Sometimes you have people, uh, you know, hanging out today with a friend. And sometimes the family can be that negative vibe, you know? What is it? I love myself. Beautiful morning affirmation. Look in the mirror and say to yourself, I love you every morning. But one of the chapters in, in my book, 28 Lessons in Self Mastery, is about, is about saying yourself in the mirror, I love you. Why not to love you? What's there not to love? Does it mean that it's perfect? Not necessarily, but what is perfect? Here, walking the dog, hugging Amy, walking on the beach or forest. Yes, music, dancing, watching the reunion of Christian the lion. What is that? Who is that? Nikki, Na natural walk, beautiful, gratitude, beautiful, sage, music, dance, hugging, beautiful, music with the right frequencies, exactly. So, for example, on the bus, because I was the DJ and karaoke master as well, I know those are part of the fun things, um... I put some frequencies music, the 528, 369, like all kind of frequencies. And that is just integrating everything. So what do you need in order to integrate? What is integration? What is integration? Integration is when you feel that inner peace. When you're feeling that flow with the energy. When you're feeling that movement. And when you are filled with love. So how are you going to fill yourself with love? Be the love. I told you in the past. When I go to sleep, when I wake up, God, make me a vessel. Make me a vessel to your light. Make me a vessel of the white light. Okay? And just to be clear, the story that I told you before, it's not praises for me. I'm just a vessel. And I will hold for it. Forever, I am just a vessel of the light. And my job is to keep my light clear, my vessel clear. So I can connect to God and to the angels at any given moment. And to give me the energy to sense if something is right or something is wrong. And that is exactly right. So I got a message yesterday that Someone wasn't really clear energetically. And I was like, hmm. And then I discussed it with another person. And that person said as well, hmm. So then I was like, hmm. It was a very hmm-full situation. And as we were walking and talking and being and looking, I've realized that we needed to really check out if that person has affected anyone. And if it affected people that they were with in the last few days. And as I was doing it, I've realized that there was a bit of contamination. So what I needed to do is to send and to, ble and to bless and to pray for the cleanse of everyone. Because if there was an effect, that will be a little bit more of reptilian energy. 
So have you ever sensed reptilian energy? This is like, I feel like a Harry Potter lesson of fighting the darkness, yeah? <laughs> so part of that is to sense, if you have a person that mesmerizes you with their eyes and looking, and this is almost like the snake from Mowgli, you know, the jungle book. I can't remember the name of the snake, but it was like, boom. And that is like, taking the energy and, and taking over your energy by mesmerizing you with a full listening and with a full, yes, I'm here for you, but are you really there for them? Or are you there for yourself? Okay. And this is where you need to look at things and say, am I flowing? Am I flowing? Am I flowing? And as soon as that you feel that you're in the flow, your energy will start to project it in a most beautiful, um, in the most beautiful way. Oh, beautiful. Yes, Nikki, I know what you're talking about. Yes. Yes, was it in South Africa? Yes, yes, yes. I know that. Beautiful. So music, walks, good memories. I can tell you that one of the things that really strengthen me from doing, hey Sharon, hey Penny, uh, one of the things that, that strengthened me or helped me today to help that lady is the thought of loving her children because that strengthened the energy. So what happened when the forces of nature collapse or they are marking you? Mother Earth is not so happy. So how are you? How are you shifting it? When you're saying Haruka bird unsafe, what does it mean unsafe? In what way? So is any of you in actual danger at the moment? Is any of you under the influence of any substances? Are you taking anything that it's a little bit too much? You know? My retreat was alcohol free, but at the last night when I finished my duties, when I finished everything, I said to them, you can have all one glass of a celebration. Some did, some didn't. I don't drink. I don't, I don't care about it, but I understand that people look at it as a different way. You can have one glass, but as soon as it becomes more, it's really frustrating. Okay. So this is where you need to allow yourself to see, okay, what is the right thing for you and what is not. So once that you are connected through love, you're invincible. This is it. This is the secret. Connect via love and you are invincible. Remember Psalm 23, even if I walk in a valley of death, I shall not fear. The Lord is my shepherd. And this is, this chapter goes with me for years upon years. I remember in my 20s, I've been chanting that chapter. So if you've never read it, if you've never read it, Psalm 23 is the one to always have. Okay. And you need to allow yourself to have this healthy lifestyle for yourself. Once that you are living in the healthy lifestyle, you are invincible. Nothing can fail you, really. Nothing can fail you. And when you are connected through love, nothing can harm you. So this is where you know that you are bulletproof. Because then if you do need to go, you go, but you go with love. So nothing happens. Elena, aren't you at the wedding? What are you doing here? So how are you connecting to life? Do you have any fears? What are the forces of nature that stops you? You know, what are the forces of nature that frees you? And what is it that holds you? Please God, next year there will be still retreat to to Uluru yet I'm planning the next one to Hawaii 
and there will be the volcano, there will be the waterfalls, there will be the walking, there will be all the elements, we'll be climbing the, the, the diamond, I forgot the name of it, we will go bike riding from the crater. So there's going to be so much energy, so much joy for you to go connect and feel. And when you are connecting and feeling this energy, boom, you are in. And this is where love is the answer. Okay, so what are your fears? Do you have any fear? Do you have anything that stops you? Or do you feel that you can take the next step, which is the step of trust? And once that you have that trust, you can release it. The elixir of the week that I recommend and you get love live 10% off is I am love. And what does it mean, I am love? I am love means, first of all, what it's made of. It's made from rose quartz in homeopathic. It's made from amethyst, which is the queen. Rose quartz is the ultimate love. And from the oxytocin, which is the hormone of love, connection, and unity. And once that you feel this for yourself, nothing stops you. Let me check what I wrote here. Boom. Almost the same page. So, a combination elixir to warm the heart and open one's mind to the suffering of humanity. This elixir is for the person who is desperate for relationship as well. Have you ever say, those who love me, leave me. I'm craving love so much, I'm so lonely. I got so hurt in the past and yet I'm craving love. I am desperate for relationship. But what about relationship with yourself? What about you allowing yourself to be happy for you? So here's the affirmation that I'm going to say for you. Despite my pain, I am love. I now choose to overcome the pain and it is safe for me to be loved by myself and others. And of course, that it goes, it goes through your heart chakra. So the amethyst is a desperate need for love, heartache from being detached from loved ones or society, a classic remedy for dying from a broken heart. Oxytocin is a remedy that helps restore connectedness to others. Oxytocin is the hormone one produced when pregnant and restores connection to love. And the last one here is the rose quartz, craving for love and connection and the need to fall in love. Well, I'm in love with love. So I love love. So I'm going to do that, taking one for the team. As you take this, I am ready to love. So if you take this for the week, it will start to lift your energy towards that self-love. And I'm putting it, the code for my website is I am love, um, is love live, and it's 10% less. Okay, you get 10% off. So let us just say, I am love. I deserve love. I live in love. Do you have any questions? So forces of nature is shaking. You listen. You start to prepare your vessel as the vessel of love. You know how much I wrote this week? Nothing. I said to myself, oh, I'll sit and write. Oh. No, I just, I'm just speaking from my heart to you because it's been a very, very busy week, one might say. So do you have any questions? If not, we're going for the card of the week. If you have questions for me in private, just send me a message. So I'm going to give you a reading for my own well-loved deck of cards from Survive to Thrive. And it has 74 cards. And let us see. So <laughs> Instagram or Facebook, who wants a reading? And Maria has jumped first. And Instagram has when I get the readings first, okay? Two days without hearing this voice and I feel like I've just come home. Oh, thank you, my darling. Opa. Maria, the card for you has just jumped. And this is worthy. I am worthy. Janine, you're here and you're not talking. What the, what happened? 
Okay, Maria, I am now worthy of love and all the good in the world. No, what can I say? If I was Russian, I would say no, which means well. This is it. Yalla, yalla, right, 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 right. Let's do it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so Su Chang, the card for you is stressed. So Su Cheng is a cousin. It was very stressful. I am now cool, calm, and collected. So don't you worry and let the energy go. Amanda, for you and Amy or just for you? Amanda, joy. Stand up for who you are and what you are. I am now willing, ready, and able to have and be the joy in my life. I am now willing, ready, and able to be the joy in my life. Okay, and one for Amy. Amy is wanting to change, wanting to change. I now realize that change is important to my evolution. It is safe to change. Peter. Okay, we'll be there in a sec. Peter, your card is fulfilled. I am now willing, ready, and able to live in my fullest expression of myself. I am now willing, ready, and able to live in my fullest expression of myself. And why am I laughing? Why am I laughing to myself? Because imagine if the police would have come <laughs> and I'm holding this. I have a different one, a different sword, but I was holding a sword and coming and they were going, oh no, we just shouted a little bit, get out. And it was a demon that was stuck in her and I would have gone and spent the night at the site. But I'm not, and it's not <laughs> too crazily interesting. Anyway, all right, Green Whisk. We need a name, darling. You are active. I am now active and full of vital energy. Very good. Okay, Haruka Bird. Your card is frustrated. As you said, you're living in a not healthy, healthy environment. I now choose to see the big picture and release and transform my frustrations into love. I now choose to see the big picture and release and transform my frustration into love. Okay, you're welcome and you are welcome. If anyone else in Insta didn't receive, just say. Let us move here to the... Facebookers, yes. So Robin, you were the first of the Facebook. So can you have a card? 100%. Robin, your card is success. When is your lover boy coming back? I am now willing, ready, and able to create new pathways to success. I have the magic touch. Perfect. Um, Nicole, a card for you is see the big picture. See the big picture. I am now willing, ready, and able to see the big picture and achieve and enjoy my goals. And achieve and enjoy my goals, which is very good. Um, Nikki, your card is... Nikki, your card is nourishment. Nourishment. I am now willing, ready, and able to move my body, eat healthy, nourishing foods, and be hydrated. I am now willing, ready, and able to move my body, eat healthy, nurturing food that will hold, and be hydrated, so to drink more water. Janine, a card for you. Hey, Judy. Janine, the card for you is shine and optimistic. I am optimistic and now willing, ready, and able to glow and shine my light into the world. Exactly what we spoke about. So, did you get the contract already or what? And then for Pete, the card is integration. The card for Pete is integration. I now choose to live my integrated life to the fullest potential. Gala, go already and bring all those people. Anyone need computer service? I've got the man for you. Okay? He's a genius. I don't know even how he does it. He is a genius. Robin, uh, I gave you a card. Robin Collins, here's your card. 
Robin Collins, rejection and accepted. Rejection and accepted. I am now willing, ready, and able to accept myself. Who else do we need if not to accept ourselves, right? Hazel, the card for you is purposeful. Purpose, oh, 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 purposeful. Ay, 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 ay. So purposeful is. I am now willing, ready, and able to act upon my true calling and my clear purpose. I am now willing, ready, and able to act upon my true calling and my clear purpose. Sonia, Judy, would you like a card? If you do, just write yes. Um, Avi Le, Mashlomcha. Avi, your card is scattered. What is happening? I now collect all my scattered pieces and move into clarity. I am united within myself. Penny, a card for you, darling. Penny, your card is free. Free! Or I'm free to do what I want any of time. Tells my age, doesn't it? I am now free to be in my full potential and self-actualized. Yes, indeed. And a card for me, coming into the light. I am now part of the Universal Light Collective family. Okay, thank you. Um, Janine, Kelly, a card for you is, Kelly, you are opening up. You are opening up. I am now willing, ready, and able to create new pathways that fulfill me. I am now willing, ready, and able to create new pathways that, could, that fulfill me. You see, remember how I told you about beautiful Natalie that passed away? Those are her nieces. And I feel that they were like your moms. Vicky and Nat were a bit like your moms. Now it's a new pathways for you to grow, to be, and to connect in your way, darling. Charmaine, the card for you is lack of awareness. What are you lacking awareness of? I now choose to raise my vibration and be aware of all that's around me. It feels to me you need to let go of the past and connect to the present. It's like for those who's been with me at the Katatuja, at the Olgas, that's what it was. It was about releasing, lifting, and shifting the energy. Vanessa, are you still here? Would you like a card? So... Are you in camping? Oh my goodness. Okay. Yep. 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 Jessica, would you like? Jessica, the card for you is regeneration. My cells are now regenerating to full capacity on all levels and dimensions. Raviti, metuka, tadain kan. Here we go. Ravit, the card for you is reassess and conscious. Reassess. And conscious. I am now willing, ready, and able to assess my life and to find my true calling. Raviti, that's for you. Francis, the card for you is cooling down. Cooling down. I no longer feel overly hot and my body temperature is perfect. I am now cool, calm, and collected. Very good. Um, Vanessa, the card for you is ultimate love. Ultimate love. I am now willing, ready, and able to create new pathways of love, joy, and happiness. Of course. Anyone else would like a card that I haven't done yet? Please tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me where will you be going? Tell me quando, quando, quando. Anyone else, anyone else, anyone else? So, what is your mission for the week? First of all, to fill yourself with love. Second of all, and you can see it on my website, soulalchemist.com.au. The next bit is to make sure that your vessel is a vessel of love, is a vessel of joy, is a vessel that will be worthy for the light to sit within. Remember, if the light worker will fail, the whole world would fall. A beautiful teacher, Chagit, from Israel, keeps saying, if we are failing, the world is falling. I trust that each and every one of you is a light worker, 
and it's supporting and it wants to do whatever it can to spread the light. So how do you spread the light? With love. What is the opposite of love? Fear. You are not going to be afraid. You are going to be strong, powerful people that you are. And how are you doing this? Just through being. Through being. Does that make sense? Because if I switch everything, all the lights off, it's darkness. So what are we connecting to? How are we connecting through to love, through positive thinking? Okay? If you're feeling lost and broken, you just need to swap it. I am now willing, ready and able to love myself. I am now willing, ready and able to love myself. Now, how does this card work? It goes by the five layers, survive, revive, and thrive. But then you have survive, revive, and then you have revive, thrive in the middle. Because we are all transitioning. And as you can notice, it's the different colors of the chakras. And this is where you need to shift the energy into the highest level. And when you are in those highest level, everything is just happening around you. So, for example, even if in the retreat I needed to change and chop and be and do. See, I'm just doing this and it stresses my hair. Um, it, it was done with, with ease because my aim was I just want to see a win-win. I want to see a win-win. And once that you can do it, once that you can do it, everything moves. Revive and balance. I am now willing, ready, and able to grow. I am now willing, ready, and able to grow. And then, rather than blame, you choose to change. I am now willing, ready, and able to be successful in all that I do. And once that you have this mindset of success, you are just bringing it. Even if you are feeling overwhelmed and you are not able to express yourself, I am now willing, ready, and able to listen and to be heard. To listen and to be heard. But remember, you need to listen to yourself. And once that you have listened to yourself, it is all there. Does that make sense? So what are your plans for Easter? What are your plans for shifting? What are your plans for releasing the energy? How are you going to take care of yourself? Let's see if you have any conclusion from what we spoke. So meditation on love and light, cleansing your own vessel, making sure that you are connected in the highest form, right? Making sure that your basic needs are cared for, even if you're not aware of it. And what are they? Water, sleep, nurturing food, Walking, exercising, love, love of the self, happiness. Let's say it all together. Ready? I am now willing, ready, and able to have happiness in my life. To have happiness in my life. I am happiness. I am happiness. So tonight, or earlier today, because my neck was sore when I was in Uluru and a bit before that, I went to this physio and he's like, I know you. And I'm like, where do you know me from? I've never met you. He's like, you introduced, you were the MC for the comedian. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so even if I don't, what? He said, how can I forget you? I was there for two minutes. What's there even to remember? I just came, did my job, my love job, and that's it. So if you are spreading love, <laughs> look at the last card. It is empowerment. Let's all say that one together. Enjoy a massage, Van. I am now willing, ready, and able to empower myself and others. This is my mission. My mission is to empower you to thrive. Whatever your thrive looks like, it is, let me just put some light on it, okay? So I would love you to thrive, no matter what your thrive is, okay? And this is where I'm here for you. 
So I just want to thank you all. You're all a bunch of beautiful people. Do you have any questions for me quickly before I complete this live? Isabella, how are you? Let's just be cooling down. I no longer feel overly hot and my body temperature is perfect. I am now cool, calm and collected. And I'm very grateful for Melbourne's weather in the last two days. It was wonderful. And didn't break our spirit no matter what. Right? So again, I just want to wish you all the best. And, and remember, it's about growth. It's about love. And I think that tomorrow I will sit and write your newsletter with energy from Uluru and I will share this love and I will share that from the Soul Alchemist desk. Well, it will be from here. I'll write it from here, I think. There's nothing like writing it from Opa. From all my crystals. All my friends are here. This is like an energy projection. I've got the power. Anyway. The kids, the kids, the kids gotta have it. So this is what we want. This is what we need. And I'm sending you so much love and light. And I'm here for you. And that's it. Until we meet again next week. Seven o'clock. No, nine o'clock. <laughs> Take care. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you all. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.